Hello everyone, my name is Nicholas and in, th in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to export a mesh from Softimage XSI into UDK. I'm going to show you right now how to install the ActorX uh, plugin. So the ActorX plugin is actually shipped within UDK and you'll find it right here under UDK folder, UDK 2009, latest, latest release actually. Uh, binaries ActorX and you'll find a couple of folders with the plugin inside and uh, you'll find the plugin for Max, Maya and XSI. Even if the release for XSI is for the 6.5 version um, it's whatever it's working so I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna use the 64-bit because I'm using a 64 uh, Softimage with 64-bit so copy that. Under Softimage, Softimage 2010 application plugins, you need to paste this DLL and you'll see here. After that, you need you need to go to File, Plugin Manager, and from the tree here, choose Load. And actually, I'm already in this. No, sorry, I'm not in the folder. So let's go here, Softimage, Application Plugin, and it's here. Choose OK. Mine is already loaded, so here we go and you'll find the exporter right here under file export actorx but i'm not going to use actorx because i just find out that with collada things are really simple and i'm gonna show you why let's see for example i, I have this scene that is actually um, an architectural scene that i want to export in uh, udk but let's see i want to export these walls the floors and the outside walls. Let's isolate them. Okay, what can I do to export all of them in uh, one single operation? Well, with Collada you can do that. But before I export everything, I want to show you a little nice trick. Okay, let's isolate these uh, floors and let's see here. I actually want to. Okay, let's isolate this. La I just want to um, assign to each floor. Uh, different material. So how do I do that? Let's jump to the U key and we need to create four clusters and you can do that by clicking right click and do create cluster do the same thing for the others and here we go but that is not enough because on each cluster that you can find here you need to apply a different material it's not important which material you choose but just put a material with a texture applied to it let's do let's repeat the same operation and here we go okay now I have four different materials into a single object so it's time to export my meshes First of all, let's select all of them. Let's choose File, Crosswalk, Export. And I need to choose, first of all, the Crosswalk file type. That is going to be called a 1.4.1 because I have the latest re uh, release of Crosswalk. And let's choose a file name that is going to be First Floor uh, Walls. Now let's see, Complete. Under setting, be sure that selection only is enabled, otherwise Crosswalk is gonna export all the meshes in your scene. So let's choose export, it's gonna take a bit. Okay, let's jump to a real, sorry, UDK, and let's see, I want to create a new package, it's called export trial. Let's close this and I'm going to import my meshes. Okay, the folder that I'm looking for is this one and this, this one, the mesh that I just exported. So let's do this. Okay, it stored the name of the file that I exported, but if you press OK to all, you see here that there are three different geometries and these geometries are actually the floors, the walls and the outside walls that, the, that we actually uh, select uh, within uh, Softimage. 
unfortunately you can recognize which one is which so you just do select all and here we go you have three different meshes in your scene actually in your browser okay now let's see this is these are our floors that are stored in, into a unique mesh and they have four different materials so how do I assign four different materials to a unique mesh first of all let's say one thing that I already did uh, um, an unwrap of the of my mesh within soft image and you can see that if you press the U UV button you'll see that the UVs are here by default and I don't I don't think you can change that but the actually UV information are stored into the um, sorry to different channel and UDK start to count these channels from channel zero. So this is my channel zero where my UVs are stored. Uh, but I want to uh, use another set of UVs for my light map. You can do that within uh, soft image or whatever is your 3D app, but in this case I'm gonna use the unwrap that I find I uh, found here in the mesh editor so you go on the window generate unique UVs and be sure that the UV channel is going to be the channel 1 so I choose apply and if we switch from here from the light map coordinate index from channel 0 to 1 you see that another set of UVs has been has been created so let's yeah for my light map I want to choose the channel one and this is the resolution but right now what I want to do is to put different materials on different um, on different uh, on the different clusters to do that if you expand LOD info you see that you have four elements and each one actually correspond to your clusters that you created uh, within Softimage. So to show you, I'm going to choose all assets, materials, and let's choose a material here. Let's choose this one. If you just click your selected object, here we go. You see that you have a material. If you choose this one and hit this, you see that you have a different material so you see it's quite easy to assign a different object uh, to a different object multiple materials once you do that just close and let's go back here and actually let's let me take a quite snapshot and here we go this is your floor with four actually two but you can assign to each one of them for different materials. Um, actually the bad part of the collada exporting is that by default or not by default sorry but um, collada is not considering your scale information or rotating information on your mesh so for example if I take this let's see the office here this one you see here that some information are scale rotate and transform and unless you're gonna choose you're gonna freeze all this information you're gonna have your object scaled or uh, not in, in a proper position so before do that before export your mesh in, in collada you need to freeze those transform to do that is not enough to just hit freeze here but you can simply instead to hit freeze go to transform and freeze all transform in this case all the transform has been reset so if you export this mesh your mesh is going to be scaled properly and with the proper position so that's it for this tutorial see you soon